all you need is this. This is all this is all you need. It's really simple. It's actually extremely simple. They did not slay the Kraken. The Kraken is very, very strong. This is all you need to do. We need a shit ton of Werner engines to make sure that we're we maintain stability. There we go. Right, we are on the launch pad. Holy shit, look at that. <laughs> that was so buggy. Uh, we really shouldn't be messing with this. I know what I must do. Okay, cool. We have the messed up camera. Oh, there it goes. It, it just worked for like a second. Oh, look at it go. Okay, I think we have it. I think we have it. Oh. Okay, we we got it. We got it. Now, now that we know that it's possible, we're going to take off the extra engines. We're going to make the ultra ultra stable Kraken drive. Yeah, I don't think this is going to actually provide any thrust. Oh, it does. It does. It provides a lot. <laughs> okay, now it's going this direction. If we're looking at it from this direction, it went to the right specifically to the right so it seems to revert the direction we just tilt that very slightly because it went to the left before so if we counteract that direction of thrust see oh look at that We've got it. It's stable. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, we're gaining Delta V. These two are kind of firing off constantly to uh, stabilize it. Yeah, it's tilting and I'm not. This one's firing off full, full burn. So is this one. So we need to. I know what we need to do. We angle the panel slightly more. We'll be able to go full tilt without it spinning around. It's making me wonder if putting panels around it would make it more stable or using a bigger panel. <laughs> do something like this. Okay, it's pulling back. Nah. So it was coming this direction. So if we take this and angle it. Just a tiny amount. Let's see what happens. This using a larger panel seems to make it a lot smoother. A larger panel that's farther away. Now putting it closer seems to have broken it. Yeah, that immediately is it's thrusting in this direction. Wonder if having the gimbal enabled is contributing to it. Oh, that seems to actually help. Turning the gimbal off completely. Wow, that helps a lot. That's much more stable. It's still having to use these constantly, though. It's still pulling in this direction. 
but that's that's very stable <laughs> we made it into fucking orbit let's go to the mun let's go to the mun let us where's the mun where are you mun okay let's do this we're just gonna burn straight towards the mun because we have what is effectively i mean not infinite but we've got so much delta v it's insane i will be able to land this thing on the mun I promise you that See, we can just burn straight towards the mun because why not? We have tons of energy. We don't even have to do a single orbit. The fact that we got this working, <laughs> you could use this thing to launch some really heavy stuff with very little fuel. We have landed on the MUN using the Kraken Drive. Now, unfortunately, we didn't equip parachutes or anything to uh, get us back, but I will demonstrate that we have enough Delta V to get back. Our, our burn to the mun, I mean, yeah, it only took us five hours and 30 minutes to get to the mun and land on the mun. And we're out of fuel. But we made it into low carbon orbit with just this thing. <laughs> That's fantastic.